हेलो एवरी वन ग्रीटिंग्स टू आल माई नेम इज सलोमी आई एम वर्किंग एज फंक्शनल इंग्ली अंड लाइफ स्किल्स ट्रैनर इन एपी बालयोगी गुरुकुम काकुमा एट बापट गुंटूर डिस्ट्रिक आंध्र प्रदेश टूडे वी विल हाव ए स्माल डिस्कशन आर्डिंग्स आफ फीलिंग्स एंड इमोशन विच बिलांग्स टू क्लास एट यूनिट एट so let me begin with a question what is a feeling a feeling is an emotional state or reaction everyone has feelings and emotions in day to day life actually feelings are the conscious experience of emotional reactions so feelings are conscious experiences of emotional reactions we will see some pictures on these feelings we will observe and notice those feelings first observe the first picture what is the boy doing that boy is crying so he is feeling very sad so that he is crying next one what is the girl doing she is grumpy on seeing her face we can notice she is grumpy next that boy is very angry by showing his hands and his teeth all these things and his cheeks also became red so he is angry next worried that boy is worried because of something so by seeing all these pictures we can notice feelings belongs to bodily reactions which comes from uh, conscious experiences we will have some more pictures so here uh, the first boy is very sad upset and not doing anything so by this we can notice he is feeling disappointed or unhappy next that girl is very nervous and seeing something which she didn't expect so that may be afraid her so she is nervous next embraced so she is embraced next the last boy is over excited feeling too excited and seeing something and or on doing something he is over excited so these are the feelings next emotions what is emotion a strong feeling deriving from one's circumstances mood or relationship with others are the emotions so emotion is uh, deriving from one's circumstances mood or relationship with others emotion is a conscious mental reaction so which belongs to mind or brain here we have a list of words used for emotions let me tell you one by one first word afraid afraid means feeling fear or being worried about something amuse to feel entertained so that you laugh or smile at something so this amusement we can get from uh, shows like jabardast all these things next one astonished feeling a great surprise next words bored tired and annoyed because you are uninterested in something so when we will get boredom if you are not interested in the class you will not listen carefully you will get bored or tired and annoyed sometimes you will get annoy also so this is bored confused not able to think clearly or understand clearly confused means you are not able to think clearly what i am saying and you are not able to understand what i am saying and if you, if i ask one question you are not able to answer that question so this is called confused next curious 
wanting to know about something or someone so this curious uh, where we get this word means uh, in the laboratories chemistry physics all these labs so in that labs if we or if you do some experiment you will curiously wait for result next delighted very pleased or happy depressed sad and without hope next determined feeling very strongly that you will do something you dedicated to do so determined means if you have some work that you like you will do that at any cost so that is determined next disappointed feeling sad and unhappy that something did not happen or did not happen in the way that you wanted or expected so when we will get disappointment if we expect something that didn't happen in expected way so then we will get disappointment next exhausted extremely tired completely without energy so this word we will come across at the time of bodily actions like uh, uh, working on the fields or construction business all these things uh, the people will get tired extremely tired completely without energy at the end next gratitude feeling thankful for something so if you are in need someone helps you so you will show your gratitude to that person so you are showing thankfulness to that person who helps you who helped you next happy feeling pleased or pleasure next hate very strong dislike so uh, when we will get hate means Uh, if someone told you some work which you dislike so there you will get hate next sad sad means unhappy next shy feeling nervous or uncomfortable meeting so shy means feeling nervous surprised feeling about something you did not expect to happen uh, surprised surprised means feeling about something you did not expect to happen so um, something happened which you didn't expect so then you will surprise that is good so for example uh, today is your birthday your friend brought some chocolates or ice creams for you you didn't expect that thing so you will get surprised next wonder a feeling caused by seeing something amazing beautiful so if we saw a beautiful dress we will wonder so these are the emotions and feelings next we will have some small assignment answer all questions what is the difference between a feeling and emotion give some examples second question fill the exact words for the following so observe these pictures and fill that blanks thank you